Good morning once again and welcome back to my channel. My name is Doris and the word that I have for you today is that the anointing will locate you. Before we get to the word, let us pray. Father, I thank you. I bless you. I glorify your name, Jesus. Lord, I thank you for yet another opportunity that you have given me to share your word. Lord, I pray that this word is going to be a blessing. This word is going to be an encouragement and a revelation to somebody. May you anoint your word, Lord, even as I release it, that whoever is going to hear this word, they shall hear that which you are saying in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. The scripture that the Lord gave me is in the book of 2 Kings chapter 6 and verses 5 to 7. And this is what it says. But as one was cutting down a tree, the iron axe had fell into the water, and he cried out and said, Alas, master, for it was borrowed. So the man of God said, Where did it fall? And he showed him the place, so he cut off a stick and threw it in there, and he made the iron float. Therefore he said, Pick it up for yourself. So he reached out his hand and picked, and picked it. The Lord is saying to you that the anointing will locate you. There are so many of you who have been advancing well in what the Lord called you to do. You have been moving on well with the assignment that the Lord entrusted to you. So many of you have been advancing and progressing well in your vision. You have been moving towards fulfilling your dream. You have been operating well with the tools that the Lord gave you. You have been working out the strategies and the blueprints that the Lord revealed to you, but then suddenly everything collapsed with just one stroke. Everything in your life came to a to a grinding halt and you have found yourself in a crisis not knowing how to proceed the tool that you needed the most the tool that you depended on the tool that you counted on is suddenly gone but that situation is not yet concluded that circumstance is not yet over crisis is what you have found yourself in crisis is what you are experiencing you are stranded some of you you are now discouraged and you have no idea how to proceed the lord is saying to you the anointing will locate you there are so many ways that we lose our axe head in life especially in times of crisis the that sick loved one that you have been praying for, that you have been believing God for his healing is now gone. Maybe there is a loved one that you have been believing God for their deliverance, but the situation has just gotten worse. Crisis. The court case has not gone in your favor. Crisis. The relationship is over. Crisis. Bankruptcy. Foreclosure. Crisis. Your son, your daughter that have been believing God, that have been living for God is now backslidden and a prodigal. Crisis. Rejected by friends, ostracized by family, crises. Some of you, you lost your axe head because you are overwhelmed by responsibilities. Some of you, you lost your axe head because of a sickness that has been prevailing in your life. Maybe it is an offense that you allowed in your heart that made you lose your axe head. Or maybe people that you depended on, people that you looked up to, people that you're following, that disappointed you and made you lose your axe head. Some of you, you lost your axe head because you became a bit weary in well-doing. I don't know how you lost your axe head or what led to the loss of your axe, to the loss of your axe head. All of us have lost our axe head at some point or another in life. But the Lord is saying that, that the anointing will locate you. That vision, your vision has now become blurry because you lost your axe head. The dreams 
that you had have ended abruptly. There are days when you had big dreams that you dreamt big, but now you wonder how you are going to be able to accomplish those dreams. You wonder how you are going to be able to fulfill those dreams in your life. Your axe head is lost, but the Lord is saying that the anointing will locate you. There are days when you are such a powerful prayer warrior. There are days when you are such a great intercessor, but now you struggle to pray. Your axe head is lost. There are days that you had a mountain moving faith, but now you struggle. You struggle to believe what the Lord says. You struggle to believe Believe what the word of God says. Your axe head is lost, but the Lord is saying to you that the anointing will locate you. There are areas of your life that were once productive, that were once fruitful, but now have become barren because your axe head is lost. When you lose your axe head, you become susceptible to hearing the enemy's voice. And many of you have come to a point where now you are listening to voices that are not of God and you have become desperate and you have been listening to those to these voices out of desperation, the Lord is saying to you that the anointing will locate you. You see, listening to these voices have created confusion in your spiritual realm, which is now manifesting in the physical discouragement. Discouragement has given the enemy an open door into your soul. You don't. You don't even know anymore if it is God who is speaking or if it is the enemy that is speaking to you. And many of you have been weeping over the lost axe head and the voice of the enemy has been screaming in your ears. But this is not the time to end it all. This is not the time. To sit back and cry. The matter is not concluded. The anointing will locate you. And when the anointing locates you, what is lost is going to be recovered supernaturally. What you lost is going to be recovered speedily and supernaturally. The man cried out to the servant of God, Elisha. Many of you have been crying out to the servants of God. Many of you have been crying out to, to the prophets of God. Pray for me. Agree with me in prayer. I don't understand what is going on. Some of you have been crying out to the servants of God. It seems like I have lost to the enemy. The enemy is having an upper hand in my life. All I see is the opposite of what I thought should have happened in my life. Many of you have been crying out to the servants of God, to the prophets of God. I expected things to work out this way. I, have, I expected things to have worked out that way, but things... Everything in my life has come to a grinding halt. Nothing is moving. All I see is stagnation. All I see is the opposite of what I expected. The axe head is lost. But the Lord is saying to you that the anointing will locate you. Elisha said to this man, where did it fall? Show me. Where did you lose your faith? Show me. The Lord is saying to you, show me. At what point did you become discouraged? Show me. Go back to that place where you lost your axe head. Go back to that place of crisis that made you lose faith in God. Show me where you lost it. The anointing has located you and when the anointing locates you 
it will bring back that which was lost. It will bring near you that which you lost. Restoration is coming. You will recover that which you lost and you're going to recover it supernaturally. Verses 7 says, Therefore, he said, that is Elisha, saying to the man, Pick it up for yourself. So he reached out his hand and took it. Elisha did not pick up the, the axe head for this man. No one is going to pick up your faith for you. You've got to reach out. You've got to reach out and pick up your faith. You've got to pick up your faith back up. What you lost will be recovered effortlessly. What you lost is going to be recovered supernaturally. There is going to be no struggle. The anointing will locate you. And when the anointing locates you, it will locate that which you lost. And it's going to bring it near to you. It's not going to be a struggle. All you have to do is reach out. Reach out in faith. Pick up your faith. The anointing will locate you. All you need is to stretch out your hand in faith. All you need is to reach out in faith and get it back. It's going to be supernatural. Your recovery is going to be supernatural. Your restoration is going to be supernatural. The Lord is saying to you, that the anointing will locate you. It doesn't matter where you lost your axe head. It's going to be recovered. All that you lost is going to be recovered and it's going to be brought near to you because the anointing has located you. May the Lord abundantly bless you. And remember that your father loves you so much. He loves you with an everlasting love and there is nothing that can separate you from his love which is in Christ Jesus, and I love you all so much. And I sincerely, sincerely appreciate all of you. Thank you for liking and sharing my videos. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. And I thank you so much for your comments, for your emails. They are always an encouragement to me. For all of you who are sending me your testimonies, Thank you so much. I thank all of you who are always giving into this ministry, giving to my life. May you never lack. All the love that you extend to me, it's going to be extended back to you, multiplied a hundredfold. Thank you so much. And always know that I'm praying for you and I'm standing with you in prayer. May the Lord bless you.